not that long ago, the public requested that we have more in a la carte version of television channel, and we started breaking the cable TV foothold on television. The result was streaming services, starting with a few like Netflix and Amazon Prime, and now there seems to be a new one coming up every other week, from Disney Plus to DC Universe to Warner Brothers HBO Max to whatever NBC Universal is doing. Here at the Fanatarium, we will be breaking down these streaming services, some free, some paid, some in between. Have you never heard of some of them? When we're done with all these episodes, you'll be able to decide which ones you like, which ones you don't, and if there's a hidden gem out there that you can try. Hopefully, saving you some money, or at least using it more wisely. Welcome to the Fanatarium. Since around the time of Super Bowl weekend, you've probably seen some odd commercials for something called Peacock. One of them even had a Peacock playing the piano. What is Peacock? Well, Peacock is an upcoming American over-the-top uh, subscription video on demand service by NBC Universal, which is part of Comcast. Much like how HBO Max is Warner Brothers streaming service, Disney Plus is Disney's, and CBS All Access is the one for CBS Viacom, or at least one of them, uh, this is the one that NBC Universal slash Comcast wants to do. It is named after the logo of NBC, which of course is the Peacock. The service is set to launch July 15th, 2020, with early availability coming up really soon for Xfinity customers starting on April 15th, 2020. So what can we say about this? Well, it was announced officially January 14th, 2019, that they're going to announce that they're going to have this. But one of the things that's going to be different with this one is, so it's going to have two programming tiers. So Peacock is going to behave much like how Hulu used to be. Do you remember when Hulu was free? So, both of which are going to be supported by advertising, limited to five minutes per hour, so it's still better than TV. Peacock Free, which will be available at no charge to all U.S. Internet users, U.S. Internet users, all of them, but with a reduced programming lineup, and Peacock Premium, which will be included at no charge for subscribers to participating TV services, providers including Xfinity and Cox Communications, basically if you have Comcast stuff. And uh, $5 per month for others, so if you have Comcast, uh, you get it for free, otherwise it's $5 per month, much like how Verizon you get Disney Plus, and if you have HBO already, you're going to get um, HBO Max and so on. Subscribers to Peacock Premium, whether included with a provider or paid separately, can upgrade to an ad-free version for additional $5 per month. So basically, you have free, and then you have premium. Premium means you get more, uh, more shows. Free, you get a certain amount, probably limited episodes, and so on, much like how Hulu used to do. They both have ads, but if you want to pay an extra $5 a month, so $10 a month, you have no ads. Now, what are some of the stuff that they're doing for Peacock? Well, they have a lot, actually. So, we have original programming. Here are just some of the ones announced. Uh, we have Adventure Zone. We have AP Bio. We have Battlestar Galactica, a reboot, which is going to happen. We have Brave New World, which is coming from USA. We have Cleopatra in Space by DreamWorks Animation. We have Curious George. We have Dr. Death. We have um, Hatching Twitter, which is a drama. We have MacGruber, which is coming there. We have Madagascar, A Little Wild, which is co-production with Hulu from DreamWorks Animation. We have A Straight Talk. We have Trollstopia with DreamWorks, The Mighty Ones with DreamWorks, and uh, a Real Housewives spinoff, a racing series from Dale Earnhardt Jr. is coming there, Punky Brewster reboot's coming there, Saved by the Bell reboot's going there. Where's Waldo? Who wrote that? We also have... Uh, the next Psych film is coming there called Lassie Come Home. Also, NBC Universal announced that the service is uh, going to have some of their series such as The Office will be on there. That's why it's leaving Netflix. Parks and Recreation is going to be on there. And they also said they're going to be bringing Lionsgate stuff there as well. Part of a long-term carriage deal with Lionsgate subsidiary stars. So... Um, it's going to be popping up there as well. They're, of course, also going to have NBC Sports, Premier League Soccer, Ryder Cup, the Olympics will be on there, and so on. The website for Peacock is already up. Remember, and when you think of NBC, they make a lot of stuff. There's Universal Kids, which um, it, it, I forgot what it used to be called, but it, Sprout it used to be called. We have Saturday Night Live. We have lots of sports that they do and, and so on. But the website's up there right now. We know all of Law & Order is going on there, which... You know, 20 plus seasons for SVU, 20 seasons for regular, 10 or whatever for criminal intent. You know, that's going to be on there. But you can follow them for their information. But basically, if it's an NBC Universal show or movie, it'll be on there, as well as original stuff. And the advantage of this one is it'll be free. What do you think? Is it worth it? Sound off. Give us your thoughts. That's Peacock, at least what we have right now.